Ellen, at the center of this case is the word recusal, and there are really two issues here. First, state's attorney Kim Fox said she recused herself, but did she? We're taking a look at her text messages. And then second, Fox did not formally and that means legally recuse herself. And now we're seeing an email from an attorney in her office that questions her authority in this case. Kim Fox's voluntary recusal in the Jesse Smollett case was under scrutiny, even by those in her own office. The I team obtaining this email from Ellen Spellberg, the supervisor of the Criminal Appeals Division, looked at the legal angle and wrote to Office Brass, My conclusion from all of these authorities is that while the state's attorney has the complete discretion to recuse herself from any matter, she cannot simply direct someone, even the first assistant, to act in her stead. A real recusal under Illinois law means that the case would be in somebody else's hands outside of that office, outside of her, and that's not what happened. Instead, after her voluntary recusal, Fox sent text messages to her first assistant, who was handling the case. She writes, so I'm recused, but when people accuse us of overcharging cases, 16 counts on a class four becomes exhibit A. Joe Maggots responds, yes, I can see where that can be seen as excessive. And what these text messages show is that she didn't step away from the case entirely. And for that, she has critics like the FOP president, but continued support as well. It's clear that she was not honest with the people when she said she recused herself. I'm defending her because I think she's done the right thing. And how about resigning? She should serve out his term, and we now have an inspector general who will give all of us, not just some text messages, answers to all the questions that have been piling up because this was not on the level and did not add up. Mayor Emanuel and President Preckwinkle said the Inspector General's report will be crucial. It will answer a lot of questions about the way the case was handled. And Judy, the FOP's president, though, really wants a federal investigation instead. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.